So the Steel Hunt is a brand new exotic to Destiny 2 and the Final Shape DLC. This exotic sniper rifle has everyone talking at the moment and in this video I bring you a few tips and tricks in regards to this weapon and how guys I believe this weapon will be the must have for hunters and the brand new raid that is coming. This paired with a certain hunter exotic does extraordinary things, things that ain't fair, things that because of myself being a hunter, I don't see myself taking this thing off for a while. It's unbelievable. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this exotic is utterly broke. It's unreal in the hands of a hunter because if you pair this with the Celestial Nighthawk exotic hunter helmet, it does unnatural things. So how do you get this exotic sniper rifle? The still hunt. But guys, it's tied to a quite simple quest to run through, which you receive not long after completing a Final Shape campaign. But a quick little rundown of how you start this quest. Upon you completing a Final Shape campaign, you need to return to the Lost City on the Pale Heart. Here speaks a ghost and he will have a quest waiting for you. It's called Destined Heroes. Once you pick this up guys, you then have to interact with the radio behind Ghost. Upon you doing this, you then have to investigate the activity of Savathun's Lucent Hive near the portal. And this is a mission that you start that's right nearby. So a few simple tips for this mission here for people who may struggle. It's all about using that relic dropped by those knives to deflect bullets shot by the enemy back at those plates or runes, which is basically the main goal in progressing on through this mission. When you see different colored plates, you simply make sure you hit them with a matching burn. So it's as simple as deflecting enemies that shoot solar at you back at those orange plates, arc back at those blue plates and void back at those purple plates. It really is that simple. Now the first area you'll come to here, there's a few plates scattered across, so you will have to jump across these sections to find them all. Now you'll then come to this section of the mission where you'll see those plates are all those runes are shielded. Here, use the relic's heavy attack to fire projectiles at the circles above the plates to reveal them. Then guys, again, deflect the right burns at the right plates, the right runes. Simple as that. Now as you progress this mission, you will eventually meet Savathun. Here, to remove her shield, you grab those charges of the matching burns and again throw them at the corresponding rune plates to remove her shield. Do this a few times, take her out. Now again, as you progress, you'll come to more charges. These ones though are shielded. You simply take out the knight, use that relic, fire that heavy attack, those projectiles, add those small circles, these reveal those charges. Here again guys, you pick them up and you throw them at those six rune plates. Use the right charges at the right place, it's as simple as that. The next step is a simple one where you speak to Mika 10. He will also give you another quest, but keep this aside as it's not needed for this exotic sniper. From this point guys, you then head back to Cade 6 at the Lost City. Here guys, he gives you the exotic quest for the sniper, the Wild Card. Simple as that guys. This is where it starts and this is what you do from this point. So Wild Card is where this exotic sniper is rewarded. So from the director of uh, the Pale Heart, Add a waypoint to showcase to you where this exotic mission starts and you'll see it's literally right below the last city. So jump down and start it. Now this mission is really straightforward. Literally the only puzzling bit was a section where nothing was happening for me. Uh, where I was just standing at my rallied flag. I died a few times jumping off. I thought I was bugged. This happens at the point where you have to inspect the dead fallen. From this point guys you need to look up in the sky, shoot the shanks to draw out the big fella, the mega shank and from here guys just take him out in those stages needed. Now the rest of this quest is straightforward, where the end of it sees you having to take out Lil Lix Harvester of Witness. Uh, this is a phase based boss fight where in between phases you have to collect mortars by killing the little dudes and then dunk them. After dunking 10, the big guy reveals himself again and you take him out. Now, a couple of stages of this and you are done here people. You turn to Cade and the Crow and you've almost finished this quest. From here guys, you lastly go back to the Lost City, interact with that radio and then go to Cade, who rewards you this exotic sniper rifle to still hunt. 
Now, what's special about this is, well, firstly, getting headshots or picking up those orbs, charge its mini super bar. When that super bar is full, hold down that reload button and you get three golden gun shots. Yes, this works with every class too. Titan, Warlock and Hunter. Yes, absolutely crazy people. But what's amazing about this under Hunter is, if you use that Celestial Nighthawk exotic helmet, those three shots become one super powerful shot. Yes, even on this sniper. The Steel Hunt fires incredible damage. It really does, it's unbelievable. And this can be used alongside any other subclass too. So if you want to use this and go with Strand, if you want to use this and go with Stasis, a Void class, an Art class, a Prismatic class, you can do this and still have that Golden Gun shot as long as you're wearing that Celestial Nighthawk. Now I know Exotic Cloaks come out next week, I haven't seen every single role on these Exotic class items, but if the Celestial Nighthawk one is there available, this is going to be absolutely wild with what you compare this with. It is utterly brutal, people. Now, what makes this even more broke is the fact that this mini super bar that you charge, you build up on the still hunt, um, obviously by getting headshots or collecting orbs, it doesn't go down ever unless you activate its golden gun special. It doesn't go down at all. You can build this up, guys. You can switch weapons. You can sit on it for for how long you want i don't know if it works if you die but you can sit on it for how long you want using other weapons and they can come back to it when you need to activate it it's utterly broken people it also works in a way that if you fill up the super bar with this sniper's last shot you can still activate and get those golden and gun shots three if you're on another subclass three if you're on a hunter one if you're on a hunter using that celestial nighthawk and you get that super super damage bonus too I mean this thing is utterly unreal and it's by far right now my favourite PvE weapon of choice. I mean I'm not going to lie to you guys, I think this thing may be a little bit broken, I do think Bungie may have to take a look at this thing, not that I want them to, I mean I'm loving it like I said, I ain't ever taking this thing off but the Steel Hunt is a broken exotic weapon, I mean it basically allows you to have, especially on a Hunter, two supers which you can use at any time you want more or less anyway it's utterly crazy but yes guys when the holo prismatic is unlocked and we can just experiment when we get those class items when we can apply two exotic perks to our class this thing's gonna get even wilder i can't imagine what's gonna happen but yeah guys that's how you get to still hunt and a few tips and tricks for you hunters out there guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.